So I got a comment back from somebody about why my capacitor was draining so fast, and that was because it was all the voltage was being sucked back into the uh, into the the power transformer. Twelve point two three volts. I'm going to unplug the transformer now, but also unplug it from the capacitor so the voltage can't flow back in there. You can see that I've still got. 12.2 volts. Now I'm going to stick a stopwatch next to it. We'll see that we've got 12.1, 12.0 volts, 11.93 volts, 11.88 volts, 11.8 volts at five minutes. 11.73 volts. No. 20 minutes. Is that in your phone? Down to 11.5. Do you know where they are? Nope. So. It still had enough power at half an hour, but just barely enough to trigger it. Just to see if it was all my testing that was draining it, I'm going to charge it back up again here for a minute. And, uh, and then I'm going to just let it sit for a half an hour and see if I get a different reading than I was getting when I was testing it every minute or so. Alright, disconnect that. And you can see that it's 12.2. Now, I'm just going to let it sit for half an hour and see if I get a different reading. 10.86. So, it, it is basically the same. I don't think this capacitor would hold enough juice to even activate the solenoid after an hour, let alone 15 hours. So, the question I have is, is this capacitor broken? Or is this just what I could expect from this size capacitor?